Hello, this is David Birch with a follow-up video to illustrate a detail of a recent uh, article that was posted here on the NDFD, National Digital Forecast Database. And it is, so I have to say right in front here, this is clear at the end of this article. And I've got, I'll put the links, I'll put several important links here in the um, in the description. This is called the nitty-gritty, but we're gone down here beyond the nitty-gritty. So we're going to look at how to download these uh, GRIB files directly from NOAA. And uh, so I'm going to try to do that without making mistakes. I, I don't know. Okay, so I'll start with this is actually a clean Windows 10 machine. And I have to use, I'll use this browser that they've got, this thing called Eclipse or something. E, I, I forget what. So we'll go back to the article, and it says here in the article where you can get the data. So you can use that spreadsheet, or you can go directly with this link. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy that link, copy that link right out of that article. I'll come back to this uh, browser, Edge browser, I think it's called. Let's see where do we put something here? Command V and go. So that takes us to the directly to the data, and the example that I'm going to do is a high. They've got remarkable high-resolution data for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and so I'm going to do that one. So I and you can see I've done. I did a test here. It's just to see if I could possibly get through. All right. So that's the main page there. Then I go to Puerto Rico. If you wanted to get the high-resolution Hawaii data, regional Hawaii data, it'd be here. That's the CONUS data. Uh, in the two in the true grib2 format okay so this is that now there's two folders here this is day one to day three and day four to day seven so if you want uh, to get it all then you'd have to do two steps here to this and so here are then all the files of the data they have and these are the two I'm just concentrating on now the wind speed and the wind direction you can get wave height temperature uh, probability of thunder uh, uh, storm force winds, uh, various things. So we just do that one. So I'm going to just download that file. And then that's downloaded. And then I download that file. And they're downloaded. And uh, I don't know, view downloads. Uh, they're the two files, wind direction, wind speed. Looks like I've done it twice. I don't know why. It overwrote one and not the other but so anyway I've taken those two files there and we're done with that so we've got our data and then I move those from the downloads folder I'm actually on a Mac so they went to the downloads in the Mac and then I drag them over here so that's the wind data uh, wind direction and that's the wind speed they are two different files they're both scalar values they're not vectors yet and also note they have exactly the same name. You come in an hour later when this is all updated, they'll have the same name. So you have to keep that in mind that these have the same name. But now I need to combine these so that the uh, navigation program can interpret these as vectors. And that we do come down here to the windows and do a command line, command prompt like that. Okay. So now, let's see where these are. These are on the desktop, so I go C, D, D, E, S. You can, if you just do a few letters and type tab, it goes there, enter. So now I'm on the desktop. I can do D, I, R. And these are the two files that I've downloaded. These are the, these are the ones we're going to make. And I did a test case, just if I could stumble through it once. Anyway, there's a test case, and these are the ones we're going to make. So. The first thing we want to do is combine these uh, in the um, uh, concatenate these files. And I have to remember this format type. Wait a minute, let me just double check that because I'm used to doing this on a Mac. So the formula you use is type. The f you, do, you do use a command type, one file name, the other file name, and a caret. So that's what we have to do. So we're going to type type, and again we can do ds.w, that's a wind speed, space ds.w, dot 
W. We got the wind direction. We want the wind speed, tab, that's that. And then we want these to go to, and then I'll make some file name here. Uh, this is going to be Puerto Rico uh, dash, Puerto Rico dash, um, Virgin Islands. Uh, underscore wind dot and these are still the in the bin format these are not grib 2 yet these are in the bin format put out by NOAA which has several layers of stuff that we have to get rid of in the next step so that's that and that file just showed up here so that's there I must use a different name last time okay so now now we have to do something we have to get this um, we have to get this special function, very powerful tool called uh, uh, WGRIB2. So let me just show that for those who really want to do this. So we go back to the article, and the article tells you about that. Here's the WINGRIB2, it tells you about it. Here's the free download. So it's this link here, copy, copy that link copy that link now I'll go back to this machine here and you may want to oh, where is that thing here um, okay so how you do this and then paste and go how you do this is going to depend on what machine you're using and so forth but here is then the the folder for this program and this is the Windows 64 version and that's what I'm running now. So what you want to do, and I'm, you'll have to figure out your own best way to do that, but you want to download that entire folder, all of these files. I'm not sure you need them all, but if you take them all, it works. So then you go back here. Here is, so you can, depending on if you use what kind of computer you have or what sort of things, you could down this, download this all at one step or you have to do it one at a time, depending on how you do that. But anyway, so I've downloaded that folder. So you see, here's these. And so I've downloaded that folder and it's here. And you see, there's all those files. So that's that. So nothing, there's nothing magic or no installing or anything. So I've just copied all those folders from that link into here. And in here is the program we want, WGRIB2. But that program, that's not an executable. Maybe they have an executable actually uh, somewhere, but I don't know about that. Uh, so now what we have to do is we're going to run that program to convert this bin file to a grib2. So first of all, let's see, I'm on the desktop. First of all, I have to get into that one. So I'm going to CD, WIN, okay, Windows 64, enter. So now I'm in there, and that's all those programs. So now, let's see if I get the command right. We got to go WGR grib2, and then the file we're going to manipulate is the one we just did here which is, um, uh, let's see, I'm not sure that the order matters here, but that's PR dash Virgin Islands underscore wind um, uh, dot bin, and then the, com and we'll see if it works. It, you might have to put the order in a different way. And the command that we want, which is in the article, it's in the article, but the command we want is called minus grib out. Minus grib out. So you then you type minus grib underscore out. Now we got to give it a file. Oh, I've got a mistake here. Look here. I'm doing the back arrow. This, fol this file is not in that folder. I gotta go back and get it out of the desktop. Okay, good. Now we're gonna let's put the other one, the new one, on the desktop, and this is gonna we'll just call it PV Puerto, v, uh, Puerto, Puerto Vallarta. Um, that's wrong. Puerto Rico uh, Vir, uh, dash uh, Virgin Islands uh, underscore wind say dot grb2. Now we got the grib2 format. GRB2. And now let's see if that works. Yes. Okay. So this listed, here's actually the data that we took, and it just actually, that command lists what the wind, uh, wind is. So it took the wind direction and the wind speed and put it all together there. 
and that's the file. Let's see, where's the one? There's a grib2. So that then is a grib2 file. That's the process. Not that tidy, but anyway, that's what it is. Now I could take that file. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, I'm just going to show that that works with a one grib viewer. Here is a grib viewer. This is luck grib, which is one I've got here that runs a grib twos in this Mercator. These are in a Mercator projection. These high resolution data Mercator projection. So your your grib viewer or your navigation program has to run both grib two and it has to run it in this projection. And this program does that. So I would just go here and say luck. Uh, here's the menu. You can't see the menu up here. File import grib files. And then, uh, oh, da, uh, uh, da, da, that's it. Okay, open. And there's the, um, there's the, um, there's the winds. And these are uh, extremely. Here's a here's the Virgin Island, St. Thomas, and all those over here. And so here are these winds, and then you can see how they vary here. I can. Ah, it's pretty. I sh Maybe should have thought and looked for a more interesting case. They're not, the wind's not doing much, but um, you can uh, do with that. Or you could just like put this here. Watch, okay, let me bring this down. So we put this here at some point. And then up here you can watch the wind speed. And then here, and then I can maybe change the times. Yeah, 15 knots, 14, well, it's changing a knot. 15 knots, 14 knots. That's over the time. But anyway, so there's this very high, beautiful high resolution data, um, sort of accessible in a sense. So that's the end of this demonstration. And I'll put the links uh, in the uh, description.